Hey Art Club friends! Today we are going to be doing a fun, quick, easy project that I think you guys are going to love. Um, from your Art Club bags you are going to need the little flower pots that I sent home with you. You will also need paint and a paintbrush and the soil and the seeds that I put into your art kit. And we're going to get started painting our clay flower pots. All right, let's get started painting our pots. So I gave you all these little pots. You should also have a baggie that has soil in it and then a like kind of paper bag that says seeds on it. And we're gonna be planting seeds in this pot once it dries. What you're also going to need is the paintbrush and the sets of paints that I gave you to um, paint this with. It should be in your art bag that I sent home. So to start, we wanna think about what we want this pot to look like. Now the seeds that we're planting are chia seeds. And chia plants grow real kind of fluffy. They look like really little miniature clovers and they can kind of look like hair. So some people might want to paint their pots to look like an animal or a person, like a face here. And then as the seeds grow out the top, they'll start to sort of look like hair on whatever you've painted. Or you can do what I'm going to do and just paint a simple design on your pot, thinking about how you could separate different parts of this to make it really stand out and look nice. So I'm just gonna use two colors on mine, two colors that I think are very summery, um, yellow and this kind of really pretty sky blue. And thinking about my pot, I'm going to do blue down here on this section and then yellow up here on the rim to make it kind of stand out and be separated. So to start, I'm going to dip my brush in my paint, I'm going to hold my pot and I like to paint around it, not up and down. Um, we call that painting with the form. And what that does is helps make your brush strokes look nice and even and clean. These pots are made of clay and clay really likes to drink up any moisture. So the paint will probably dry pretty quick. You're also probably gonna need a couple different layers of paint to make it really bright and stand out depending on what color you choose. Make sure I go all the way to the bottom. It's okay if it goes on the bottom a little bit. You just really wanna make sure you get all the way down there so it's completely full of your color. Notice how I'm holding my pot on the inside so it doesn't fall and break, because that'd be sad. So I've got my first layer of blue. I'm gonna wash my brush. And now I'm gonna do my yellow on the top. Once your first layer is dry and you, if you don't need or don't want to do second layers, then you can do some details on top. So maybe you add some polka dots or some lines, something interesting. Now you can see my yellow, it's more transparent, translucent. So I'm gonna need more layers of yellow if I really want it to stand out. So you can see as I add more, the color starts to build up and look more solid. I'm gonna need to let this layer dry before I add any more, because if I don't let it dry and keep going on top, it's just gonna kind of squish the paint around and not actually build up layers. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second to dry and then do a second coat. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna get a little bit of white paint or a different color so that I can do some polka dots on my blue. All right, I decided to grab some dark blue, do some polka dots on my light blue. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Cool. 
cool. I love that. It's looking great. All right, so take some time, work on your pot, get some designs going, make sure you've really built your colors up. Once this dries, then your next step is to start packing soil into your pot, kind of pushing it down, not too hard, but enough that it kind of compresses a little bit. And then taking your seeds that I gave you and sprinkling them on top of your soil and then putting just a little layer of soil on top of the seeds and watering them. You want to put your plant next to a window that has some light and water the seeds every few days. Feel the soil if it's dry, that means it needs water. And you guys should see some sprouts in a, about a week or two. Um, and then they'll continue growing as long as you take care of your plant.